Hey guys, I'm Teddyworks and in this easy Procreate tutorial I will show you how to draw this Japanese landscape step by step. Please download the free tutorial files via the link in the video description and if you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. To save us some time and make the drawing process easy and enjoyable, I've gone ahead and created a Procreate file that I will open now. There is this import button and if we tap on it, we will be able to select a file. It's called Japanese landscape. It contains three layers already. A layer with a base shape, its shadow and a texture overlay that will always stay on top. This file is included in the tutorial bundle. Today we're gonna use many brushes from the existing Procreate library. Also specially for this tutorial, I've created a brand new brush set with Japanese wave patterns. They're all seamless and they work just great for this type of art. As a bonus, I added a couple of stamps that we will use in today's drawing. You can download the set absolutely free of charge, together with the color palette and other tutorial files on the link in the video description. If you enjoy my YouTube tutorials and want to see even more, please check out my Patreon page, where I share more in-depth tutorials and exclusive brush sets. It's also linked below the video. Without further ado, let's start drawing. And for that we will need a new layer to be created above the layer with the base shape. So let's go here and click on the plus icon. I'd like to start drawing the tree. The tree crown will have three different shapes, with the smallest one located on top. To draw it I will select color number 6 from the palette. Go to ink inset and pick technical pen from there. In stabilization I increase the amount of streamline to maximum. Also added a little bit of stabilization and motion filtering to get smooth lines. With the brush size set to 30%, I will draw a curvy shape like this. Not very complicated. Let me just connect it here. And then I will drag the color inside it. In the end we will get something like this. Maybe I will make it a bit more rounded here. And more curvy. Alright, I think now I like it. And I will create another layer for the second shape. Let's place it below this one. Also change the color to number 7, which comes next. I will start from here and draw bigger curves. It may even go outside the shape. We just need to connect the invisible part of it. And after that we can drag the color inside. Now we need to create one more layer. For the last shape, let's also place it below. And it will be the darkest one, so let's select color number 8. I will also start drawing from the right side. Make curves even bigger. And go to the left. Let it also go a little outside the shape. Then I will connect it and fill. Now that all shapes are ready, we can shade them quickly, before drawing the tree trunk. Since we are on this layer, let's work on it. I am creating another one above it and clipping. Let's select color number 7 that we used for the second shape. And for shading, I will pick a brush from spray paints. It's called Fat Nozzle. First I will set the opacity to maximum value and the size to run 30%. Start making strokes going up from the bottom edge. Applying pressure and also tapping to get these particles. And to get a darker color, let's select color number 12. But here I will reduce the opacity a little bit in order not to make it too dark, around 77 or 78%. Now 
make strokes in the opposite direction, but with low pressure. Alright, I think this will be enough. Let's merge these two layers and go to the next one. I will also create a new layer above it. And then clip. I'd like to start with a light color, so I will set the layers mode to screen. So we can use exactly the same color that we used for the base. It's number 7. Let's also make strokes at the bottom. Like this. And for the darker color, I will be using number 8. Make strokes here. I think we can reduce the size a little bit, because the shape is smaller. But we need to create a new layer that will be in normal mode. Let's not forget to clip it. And then we can apply the color. Like this. They will blend a little bit. And I think it looks quite nice. Now we can merge this. And finally go to the last layer. It's number 4. I will also create another one above it. And clip. Let's also set it to screen mode. And use color number 6. Which was the basic color for it. I will apply it here on top. When it's ready, I'll go ahead and merge all the layers for the tree crown. After that I will duplicate it. Now let's go to this one. Resize it and move it a little bit down. So we need to go to transformation menu. It's under this arrow. And use it uniformly. We don't need magnetics or snapping here. So I will remove it. Let me drag it down. I think it can be even smaller. And I will place it somewhere here. Now we can draw the trunk quickly. Actually these two layers can be merged already. And even before drawing the trunk, we can add the wave pattern. I didn't apply it on the big shape first, because if we scaled it, the pattern would get smaller as well. But I want to keep it same, so it's better to apply it this way. We just need to create a new layer above this one. Also clip it. And set it to soft light mode. I will be using white color here. That we can pick from the color disk. Let's now open the brush set and choose a pattern. I like this one, number 7, so I will select it and we need to pick a size. I think around 15%. I will just make a stroke without lifting the pencil up all over the tree crown. But now I'd like to make this pattern a bit textured. And one of the ways to do that is the following. Instead of using eraser with texture brush, I will add a layer mask to this layer. We will get black color selected. And after that we can apply the brush. I will go to vintage and select bolt. Its size is set to 58% and I will just start making strokes on the pattern to remove some of the parts. If you like to restore it, you will need to switch to white color here and make strokes on the damaged parts that you like to restore. Alright, I think I like it now. We can merge all these layers and create a new one for the tree trunk. I will place it below the tree crown. First I will select color number 10. And in recent brushes, pick technical pen. 
From here I will start drawing a small curve. Then make a big one outside the shape. And finish it here at the bottom. After that I will draw the second curve. Make it small first. And then a big one. Let's connect it here and try to be very accurate here at the bottom. Now we can try to fill it. On the same layer we can add smaller branches for the big crown, but I will change the color to number 11. And we can work on the same layer. I will start drawing from here and make a curve going to the side. Then make another one on the right side and draw one more. I will try to make it smooth. First it will go parallel to the first line and then I will make it wider. Let's connect it here first. Then on these two lines and drag the color. Now that we have the shape, we can shade it. Let's create a new layer for that and add a clipping mask to keep the textures and all patterns inside it. I'd like to start with the light part, but since we have these two colors on one layer, we need to separate them, so we can use selection. It is in freehand mode. I will just make an arc here. And then outline it this way. Then we need to tap to close the selection. I think I will start with light color. That will be number 9. And pick fat nozzle brush. It is now in recent brushes as well. I will just make the size a bit smaller, at around 23%, and start making strokes this way, on this part first, then on the inner part of the trunk. Try to do it gradually, with low pressure. Then after the highlight we need to add the shadow. And for that I will select color number 11 again. I will apply it here, maybe with a bigger size. Go up gradually. And also here on the lower side. We can try to make the strokes going up for the particles. So I will make the size bigger. And try to tap a few times, like this. Since we still have the selection, we can add a pattern on it right away. But I will do it on another layer. So let's create it, then clip. And I will set it to overlay mode. Also pick white color. In the color disk. Now let's pick a pattern. From Japanese waves. I think here I will be using number 10. It will fit. The brush is screen oriented, so we may need to rotate the canvas to make it follow the direction of the trunk. At least somewhere here. I think I will reduce the size a bit, let's say to 14%, and start making this stroke. After that I will set the layer's opacity to 60%. It will look like this now. Let's remove the selection and work on the dark branch. So first I will go back to this layer, number 6, and create another selection, using it in freehand again. 
I will outline it this way. And select color number 10. Let's switch back to fat nozzle brush. Since the shape is smaller, we may need to reduce the size. Maybe even more. And I will highlight this part of the selection. Like this. It will be enough. I will only add the pattern. So let's go back to this layer that is in overlay mode and I will tap and hold here to select white color. Let's switch back to pattern. Make the size even smaller and rotate the canvas to apply it like this. Now it is totally ready. I will merge all the layers for the tree trunk. We can now start adding more elements. For the mountain I will create a new layer that will be located right above the base. I'm not clipping it yet. And this time I will start with a pattern. So in the color palette let's grab color number 14. And go to the brush set with patterns. From the list I will pick Japanese wave 6. Set the size to 32% and make a stroke all over the canvas, like this. Now we can try to clip it and move. I want to find a good peak that will be located on the left side. So let me start to move it and place it like this. I will be using this one. So let me put it here. And I will remove the unnecessary part. Using selection. First I will outline it using freehand. Starting from here. And outlining everything that I want to remove. this way, then it will go down and up. Let's step here. After that I will swipe three fingers down and click cut. It will be gone. All we need to do is adjust the shape and we can do it easily using liquify from adjustments in push mode. It has only pressure, no distortion or momentum. The size is at 49% and I will start pushing it in different directions. Until I like how it looks. We will need some space for the sun on the right side. So let's keep it in mind. We can push it even more down, like this. This one will go down as well. Just make sure it looks fine. And maybe I will move it a little to place it like this. Okay. I think now we have enough space here. Now that we have the pattern, we can apply the color. For that I will create a layer below. And it will be clipped to the base right away. Let's just pick color number 12, which is dark blue. And also technical pen. Or oh, actually we can even use selection here. My technical pen would work as well. We need to outline the shape. I will do it fast. Match it with a pattern. And after that it may go down like this. Fill in the shape. This is what we will get in the end. 
maybe we can add a subtle shading to it. So I will alpha lock this layer and grab color number 13 together with fat nozzle. I will just make the size big enough and make a few strokes inside the mountain here and there. I think we can also make the pattern textured a little. So I will go to the layer with the pattern and add a layer mask to it, just as we did with the tree. Black color is already selected. We only need to pick bold brush and make a few strokes here and there. Alright, now this is fine. I will merge all the layers for the mountain and we can continue working. Next I want to draw the sun, since it is also a big object. I will do it on a new layer that I will create above. For the base color I will select color number 3. And to make it rather soft, I will be using one brush from the airbrushing set. It's called medium hard airbrush. Its size is at maximum and I will start drawing a circle like this. Let me adjust the edges a little bit. And I think I will resize it uniformly. Move it upper, so it takes a big part of the space. Now let's also shade it. I'll create a layer above it and then clip. First I'd like to add dark color, that is number 5. This time for shading I will be using a texture brush from sketching. It is oil pastel. The size here is set to 13% and I will shade the edges, making strokes like this. All around the shape. This is the texture that we will get. And in the center I will make it lighter, using color number 4. Just tap a few times like this. Now it is also ready. Let's add some cool plants at the bottom. I will go back to the third color. and use technical pen to draw. We just need to create a new layer. We can merge this too. And I will create a layer below the tree, so we can put it here. We don't have to clip it actually, just start drawing. Let's draw the first shape. It will start from here. And I will make a curve like this. Then draw another on the opposite side. Let's connect it here and fill. After that I will draw another one on the right and I will make it smaller. Let's also fill it. And I think I will move this one. So let me outline it. It will just go a little bit to the left. Like this. Just a couple adjustments. And we can shade it then. I will alpha lock the layer. And add a darker color first, that will be number 5. 
Let's use foot nozzle brush here. Hit make a stroke on top. After that switch to the light color, number 4. And paint at the bottom. I just want to add a few details inside. And for that I will be using technical pen again. Set the size to 26%. And draw these lines. Just a few. Make them go parallel to each other. Now here. A couple more. And that's it. Now we can draw two more blades on the right side. But using different colors. I will start with number 15. Let's also create a new layer. And start drawing. I will make the first one very tall. Start from here. And draw a curve like this. Then draw another one on the left. Let's make this peak very thin. And then it'll go wider. I will finish it here. And fill. I will draw the second shape on another layer. That I will place below. And make it shorter. So it'll start approximately from here. And have a similar shape. This is how they look. We also need to connect it at the lower edge. And then fill. Now you can see them. I will proceed to shading. Starting with the latest one. We can also alpha lock it. And select color number 16. I will also use fat nozzle. But start from top. After that I will select number 12. And tap a few times this way. Let me now go back to the 16th color. Select technical pen and add these lines inside. This one is ready. Let's finish the second one. I will also alpha lock it first and use this light color. Apply it with fat nozzle. Then select 12th color and shade it slightly. We can actually tap and hold here and use technical pen to draw the lines. It'll go like this. Now these two are ready as well. Actually only a few details are missing. These are the clouds and the birds. So let's add them quickly. For the cloud I will create a layer right above the sun. And pick white color from the color disk. We have a cloud stamp here in the set. So let's select it, set the size to 27% and tap on the canvas. Now we can move it. I will make it go a little outside the shape. So let me drag it upper. And to make this pop visible and pop up from the background, we can add the shadow to it. For that I will duplicate the layer 
go here and recolor it. First I will apply alpha lock to the layer. After that select some dark color. Let it be number 18. Now I will select fill layer from the menu and it will be recolored. We just need to unlock the layer to apply Gaussian blur on it. It can be found in adjustments. I will slide to the right to around 8%. And to make the color a bit darker here on the sun, we can set it to multiply mode. Before we add the birds, I think we can finish the background. So let's go to this layer and then create another one above it. Before adding the pattern, I will apply color number 2, using one of Procreate texture brushes. It will be Melaleuca. Its size is at around 29% and I will start making strokes carefully. On the top area. Go down gradually. We can press more here on top. And in the end add the pattern. For the pattern I will create a new layer. Right above this one. Also set it to soft light. So we can use white color. I will grab it from the color disk and select a wave pattern. This time I want to use number 4. With the size set to 12%, I will just start making strokes like this. Press more on the dark part. Now the background is ready. We can finally add the birds. I will continue using white color. Just create a new layer for the birds. Above the tree. There is a stamp here. It's called swallows. And I think we can set the size to around 25%. Then tap. And also move it. I will put it this way. One last touch that I want to add is the shadow for the tree. So let me merge these two layers and then duplicate it. I will now go to this one. Also alpha lock it and recolor it. I think here we can use color number 17, because the mountain is dark. I will tap fill layer here, then unlock it, and blur. Slide into the right, to around 8% again. Optionally, you can add shadows to all other objects, including mountain, these plants, the birds, and maybe even the sun. At this point our Japanese style landscape is ready. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check me if you post a version on Instagram. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.